feel invisible, hold on It's a hundred niggas in the spot I won't keep going, it's 85 just to walk on I don't talk to these niggas, cause a lot of these niggas be cool Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, so it's your girl Shane Renee If you're new, so be here Hey, welcome to the family welcome to the channel Hello. make sure you subscribe press that red button and turn on your post notifications so you know when i do post and if you are a returning subscriber welcome back you already know what i'm about period says if y'all like to know you know y'all can check out the link in the description box down below i will let y'all know where i got these one from these are press on nails this black on period stop playing with me so if y'all want to see more about the videos you can see by the title i'm going to show you and let you know about the pros and the cons of having this hairstyle ain't here what i go through on a daily basis because listen just because it's so beauty and cute don't mean it ain't pain and stressful okay so without further ado let's get into the video okay, so y'all know i'm like always in this hairstyle like this is like my to-go hairstyle anytime like i love this hairstyle. like i had a long i had a midway short like period this is like my to-go hairstyle so i love this hairstyle like you know you can't lie i love it so everybody loves it but Having this hairstyle does have some pros and cons to it because of sin. All right, sleep and snap. So, first one, and I should have wrote this down because you know I'm going to start being more organized with you guys because like in my videos, I know I repeat myself a lot and I just be like you know all over the place. So I forgot to write my notes now, but in the next video I will have my notes prepared and we'll be organized, organized. So for one, sleeping with them. Um, this limp isn't so bad. So all I do is just put it up in a bun and like put a bonnet over it and it's fine but when i had like the long ones oh my gosh and i'm sleeping with it it's all over the place it's like a big bun freaking thing on my head like my head was heavy from it it was like a big bun on my head my head was so heavy from it it was like a lot going on but this is not so bad i still put it up in a bun or whatever and i just tie it up with the bonnet and when i want to keep my edges good i just get like a little silk scarf and tie it around my edges so i just sleep with it up in a bun second part is when you do put this hairstyle like ups like because i do a lot of ups the um styles like say if i go like this up or like i said when i sleep with it at night i put it in a bun that does affect the front as you can see the area i did use the rubber band um and sorry if you guys hear like a noise background i'm like sitting in front of the fan because it's hot as hell it's like 90 degrees it's it. i can be sweating with this makeup off period so yeah so as you can see the front like my roots like my roots may be grown in i mean they are grown in but not that much that fast i did the rubber band method so you know if you watch my other video how i did it y'all see how tight it was and i was like kind of loose because you know i'm moving around i put it up so when you do put this hairstyle up the button and everything it does affect it and it makes it like really loose as you can see i had these in for like almost two weeks now so you can see how loose it is like all right there and mind you this is rubber bands in here so it made it tight but it's still made it loose so yeah that's another con um like i said it's a lot of pros not that much cons but just some cons so you know i gotta let y'all know um a lot of people want to know if this hairstyle is heavy on my head um this hairstyle isn't heavy at all um some people be saying like it depends on the hair i don't feel like it depends on the hair but sometimes i do like um my last one that i did i used human hair but that was bundles like actual tracks i just tried it just because i wanted to see how it works and that was like this mm -hmm. length like longer than this kept like under my chest and it was actually really light like way lighter than this what i have right now so it does vary on a type of hair because some hair could be um light some hair can be heavy but the human hair that i did have was way lighter than this this isn't really heavy like this is still light because it's short but when it is longer with this synthetic hair it will be heavy on your head so that's another con um what else that was two so we have another con another one would be like uh what i'm gonna say like sometimes like as you can see i don't know if it's the way i do it but sometimes you have like flyaways coming that as you can see my little flyaways and it will get caught up and you have to like not take out the base you just finger your hair through so that it don't jam up something like that so yeah another um con is of course when you're like say you get in the pool and you wet your hair this hair will take a long time to dry but dry if that makes sense so, like when you wet it it does take kind of long to dry up and everything like i got in the pool yesterday my hair is kind of still a little bit wet so you know try to let the air dry but other than that um it's not a lot of like cons cons um hair or whatever and you see i have long nails so you know it does catch on the little flyaways it's catching on to my nails right here but that's not nothing serious I mean, that was my only really main focuses of like my 
um, cons of this hairstyle is like sleeping with it and the loosen up in the front from the roots and everything and in the back as well too you know you put that up so you're pulling your edges from the back and the front so that's the main part that was really like uh if you want me because then i have to retouch it up but i'm going to have another video on that after this video on how you do a retouch of this look some people like it like this because it looks more natural to them i like it like this too don't get me wrong but i do like the cleaner look like i like it to look new and clean and everything you know so y'all can let me know do y'all like your locks to look like more like natural like this or do you like it clean freshly see your scalp you know all that type of stuff like let me know in the comment section below and let me know what other kind of videos y'all do want to see i do notice that you guys really love these videos but my locks and everything so i'm gonna like do way more videos like this like i said my next video i'm gonna be retouching up these locks because they've been in for like two weeks now and i need to retouch this up because it's starting to look crazy as you can see like i have more than unnecessary baby hairs than i need and usually when i do retouch up i don't actually like do all like my whole head i didn't do like the perimeter the front i don't usually do the back like, as you can see the middle is loose too as well but it's not that loose how the front is loose so yeah i'm not gonna do i'm not gonna do like the whole head over because that's a lot of work sis that's a lot to do also guys another um con that i want to point out too with this hair is when it's time to take it out <laughs> it's kind of annoying because like um i made it easier last time when i used to have it in i would like box braid it up and then i would wrap this hair around so i would have to take this out and take the box braid out so that's too much work so now i just box braid my own hair and the way you take this out when i do take this out i redo it i am gonna make a video like that because a lot of people do ask me how do i take it out and i never made a video on that so when i do take these out which i don't know when because i love this hairstyle i will make sure i record it or i could just take out like one or two and show you guys how to do it so basically what i do i usually just like um start from the root like you probably can't see right now but i will start from the root and pull out the synthetic part and just cut it and then just like it literally just slides through like it's coming out that easy like that just because it's more easier and it's less trouble to like when you add extensions to your own hand braiding and then wrapping around because now you got to take this part out and then you got to take out the braid and that's a lot of work and i'm lazy and i don't like doing that but yeah but those are basically the cons of this hairstyle um the pros as you can see is beautiful it's a nice texture you can get up and go you don't have to worry about anything come on Thank you. you get up and go you don't have to worry about anything fix your baby ears and that's about it and yeah like i really love this hairstyle like this hairstyle is like totally me like i really love like i wear this every year round but you know y'all i always gotta switch out my hair and i'm thinking about doing some color next time so let me know if i should do like a color or something what color y'all think will look cute on the girl let me know but yeah, those are the cons of having this hairstyle. Like I said, it's not so bad. It's just some things I do let people know about this hairstyle of having it and how to maintain it and everything. And also, if you do want to keep that shiny look, because I do, my personally, I do like the shiny look, you want to make sure you type your hair every day. Like, when you sleep on it, you don't tie it up. It's like, sleep on your pillowcase, you're taking away all the shine from it because your hair is rubbing on it, rubbing on it. So, like, use, like, a silk scarf or a silk bonnet, and that will help keep the shine because I personally like the shine to my hair, but... I haven't been tied up how I wanted to. So when you don't tie it up as well too, it makes it look even more like dry and more natural. But some people do like that look because that look does also look cute as well. I like that look, but I personally like the shine look better. But either or, it doesn't matter to me. But yeah, so that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you follow me on all my social media. I mean, I have like three social medias now. I want to really be on Instagram. I have Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat. But if you want to follow me on all that, yeah, I can. But mainly, make sure you follow me at Instagram at Shaymone because that's that's all I'm on. S H A Y M O E N A. Same spell as my YouTube channel. Make sure y'all go follow me. I'm always on there every day. I actually have a um, color series going on right now. I'm like doing like um, one color for two weeks, like right now. Color scheme is blue. As y'all can see, and I showed y'all my little nails that I got going on with her or whatever. So yeah, make sure y'all check me out on Instagram. Follow me. Hey again to my new subscribers. Thank you for coming to my channel subscribing. Make sure you subscribe, like, and share. Turn on your post notifications and says give it to 1K because we're almost there. By the time I make this next video, we should be at 1K already. And that's one period. Make sure you're following me on Instagram. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.